Hey, it's me, Kevin, here. I wanted to uh, show you a couple of cycles here on these lantanas and show you uh, what I do to keep them looking beautiful. Um, here's a great example of a lantana. You can see how beautiful this thing is uh, right now. Not as full of color as they have been. And let me show you across the street here. There you can see one that's in full bloom and, and really looks good. But let me show you what's happening here. And the one over to the right, I can show you a little better example. Lantanas have three different growth cycles. You have a, a, a new growth cycle, which is followed immediately by a flowering cycle. And then as soon as they're done flowering, you can see toward the back side of the growth here, they begin to produce a seed. Now, this is the beginning cycle of the seed. What happens with these seeds is all the energy of the plant will go into reproduction and it'll start producing seeds. So what I like to do, when they start to fade like this, the color, and here's one that's a little further advanced stages. You can see all the spent flowers here that are going into seed. What I like to do is I like to come in with these things and cut about two to three inches off the side of this thing. And just like with a, with a lantana like this, what I would do is I would come in around the edge and I would naturally prune around the edge here, maybe a little bit of it off the top. When you prune like that, you're gonna encourage new growth which is immediately going to be fo followed by the flowering cycle, which is the longest lasting cycle of the lantanas. And then in about six or eight weeks, it'll start to produce seed again, and you'll start to do it all over again. Now this applies as well for the purple ones here. And you can see this guy's just a little guy, hasn't quite begun to do its thing yet. Uh, you can see that it's in the beginning stages of the flowering. There's no seed pods behind it. Unlike its brother over here, flowering with the seed pods behind it. So by pruning those things back, you can really encourage them to uh, stay blooming throughout the summer. Make sure to get plenty of water and fertilizer. More on that later. That's it.